Hello and welcome back to the Reaper. So we're in our lovely Gazelle, uh, the M model, and we're going to do a startup sequence. So I've not done it before, but Stahl has. Stahl, do you want to talk us through it? Yeah, sure. So we do want to start by closing our doors by pressing the right control and C. Right control and C. Yes, that is the door. God, they're thin, aren't they? Go oh, on, Bennett. Yes. They're not going to protect me from AK rounds, are they? Okay, that's done. Example. Wow, the visibility uh, is amazing. Next, you want to check your dashboard on the very right side, right underneath the voltmeter. Mm -hmm. So that's. Yep. Um, you'll find three switches there that mm -hmm. say battery, alt, and generator. Mm -hmm. That's your battery, alternator, and generator. You turn all three of those on. Done. Next, move down a little bit to the left. To the left of the chronometer, you'll find your pump switch that goes up. Roger. And after that, you're supposed to wait 20 seconds. So at the bottom right of the chronometer, you can hit the little black button and it will start counting for you. Just click it. Oh, yep. Sorry. 18, 19, mark. Right. So if you want to reset that chronometer, you can just press the same button again and then the one on the top right. But more importantly, now we can turn on our starter, which is even further to the left. The big silver switch. Mm -hmm. um, what is it? Where up or down or? Up to M. M is always on and A is off. Roger. A red. Yep, yeah, gotcha. All right. So a little bit to the top right of that, you should now see two lights, them and R T being green and yellow. A firm. Right. So we can continue by uh, opening our rotor brake. So the big red lever to the left. You just click that and drag it forwards. Roger. After we've done that, uh, we can look back at those two lights. The DEM one now should be off. Roger. Which is when we can move on to the RPM gauge. At the bottom right of the dash, you should see the long finger is now at 25,000 RPM for the turbine. I firm. Now what we're going to do is smoothly and carefully open the fuel flow, uh, the fuel valve. But do not open it all the way immediately. Uh, the buttons for that, by the way, for opening and closing are page up and page down by default, I believe. Have I got a meter so somewhere to know where I'm doing this? Yes. Um, well, first of all, you could look at the at the fuel uh, fuel lever itself to your left, but that's not necessary. Just look at the RPM gauge and just lightly tap it until you reach about 30,000 RPM or just under, at which point you'll see that your rotors will start to turn. Yep, I'm pressing page up, and I've got it to 30,000, or whatever that says, 3,000. Yeah, that's 30,000. 30, now you just now you just wait until those two needles have synced up. She's a-going, she's a-going. Is there a clutch between the... Um, is it a viscous link or a solid clutch between the engine and the rotors? I, I think it's, it's, it's directly linked, actually. Hmm, how interesting. That is one oh. spinning copter, that's pretty sick. Right, so my needles have merged, all about yours. Roger, merge. So, you wanna just bit by bit open it fully, um, but always wait a little bit and give the short finger time to catch up. Roger, what's the danger here? Uh, overtalking the engine, basically. Okay, right, so I'm gonna go right to the end of the gauge, shall I? Yep, but not instantly, not on one go. Yep. So I'm doing page up, I'm just tapping it slowly, up she goes. Okay, that's as far as she'll go, 4,300. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, right, we'll continue underneath the radar altimeter in the center, there's the P to power switch, you want to put that up. Roger. Over to the right, you'll find your trim power, you want to turn that on. Roger. And one row of switches below, about in the center, you'll find your magnetic brake switch. It says DVRF. Roger. I'll turn that on as well. Roger. Next, we'll move over to the left underneath the RWR. Yes. Uh, you'll find two red and white flags, and to the center bottom of that, there's a knob. You turn it to GM. That's your gyro. Stand by. Is your plane shaking, by the way? Or is it? Yeah, I guess I'll lose that. Okay. Yep. And at the very bottom right of the dash, uh, you will find your autopilot. So the big silver switch goes up, and all the three channel switches for your pitch, roll, and your channel scope as well. Roger. So it won't actually engage the autopilot, it's just setting it up, is it? Yeah. Roger. 
Next, you want to turn on your radar altimeter to the bottom left of the gauge. You just scroll so the M is on top. Standby radar altimeter is here. I just want to scroll until the M is on top. Roger. Done. M is on top. And in the top right of it, you can scroll that knob to set up the dangerous altitude that you would like to set. Scrolling with the mouse, and I want a dangerous altitude of no less than 125 meters. Roger. Now, if you look at your ADI, there's a big black knob to the bottom right of it. Oh, you just yep. left click and hold to encage it. You just hold it down until it stops swapping. Yeah. Now we'll look at our backup ADI that works slightly differently. Uh, there's also a black knob to the bottom right. You need to click, hold, and scroll uh, to align the white lines with the with the horizon line. Roger done. And that is a started up gazelle. There are a couple more things if you want to go through them that I like to do myself. I've still uh, got a caged HSI by the looks of things. Can you confirm? Uh, it shouldn't be caged, uh, but the distance indicator is going to be red probably. I've got um, a BUT on the uh, on the main dial. Have you got that? I do have to as well, yes. Is that caged? I uh, shouldn't be. Give me a second. Nope, if you take off and fly around a bit, you can see it moves just fine. Roger, okay, that's just something we'll go through later. Right, anything else, Star? Uh, no, that's the basic call start. Uh, I mean, there are a couple of things I like to set up, like internal lights, uh, RWR and such, opening the flare cover. But uh, that is the basic thing, the necessity. Lovely. Right, I hope that helps, and we'll see you later.